first topic, which is what the objective and role of a skirmisher is. So, if we could clear fleet chart a minute, and we could get some X's, what do you guys think a skirmisher does? Go for it, Marvin. It's tracking down and um, pointing to targets for fleet. Yep, covered a decent range of the role there. Cador, did you have anything to add to that? Uh, yep, checking that the route ahead for the fleet is safe and that they're not going to go and land themselves into a bubble. Yep, that's also part of it. Anything, anyone got any other ideas? Uh, Greg, I'll, um, well, let's, let's go with uh, Phoenix first. Well, after uh, the skirmisher has someone pointed, it's survive enough for the fleet to actually get there and hopefully get a good fight. Yep, absolutely important. Yep, Greg, did you have anything to add? The skirmisher is the eyes of the FC. Yep. That's certainly a key part of the role. So yeah, I think we've we've covered most most of what a skirmish has to do. So I'd say there's three, yeah, three or four sort of key key areas that a skirmish covers. Um, as Greg also eloquently put it, the eyes of the fleet, the eyes of the FC, is is a really critical role. And despite you know the other answers being perfectly valid, I'd I'd almost say the main role. You know, without them, without the eyes, the fleet is blind and, well, it doesn't really matter how big your fleet is to a degree. If you can't see what's around you, you're never going to find anything to kill. That's the that's the first role I've got. Um, then pathfinding, um, which is kind of a similar thing, just making sure that the fleet doesn't run into anything. So this is sort of under, um, like under the eyes, is like pathfinding is the first sort of element of that. Um, making sure it doesn't run into a bubble, run into a gang that it can't cope with, that sort of thing. Intel gathering, um, finding hostile fleets, finding targets for the fleet, just giving the FC info on what's in the systems near the fleet, and target finding, so what, you know, grabbing things that, or, well, we'll get onto the grabbing element in a minute, but finding things that the fleet can kill, what uh, the composition of hostile fleets is, you know, what systems are active, that sort of thing. So I'd say that the eyes of the fleet is the, the absolute key role for uh, an interceptor. It covers all those sort of areas. Or skirmisher, more specifically. So another role that you guys uh, mentioned just now was um, tackling. So obviously there's quite a few um, elements to that. You know, you've got to find the target in the first place, um, but then you've also got to be able to grab it and hold it um, until the fleet arrives or someone very correctly pointed out. Uh, there's no point grabbing something if you're not, you know, if the fleet's six hops away and you're not going to be able to hold, you might as well just not even start because you just might die. So you've got, you know, the sort of hunting a target in a belt or in a anomaly, something like that, where you sort of hopefully just sneak up on it almost and grab it. But you've also got just the simple, you know, fleet sitting on a gate, um, there's a target on the other side, you go through, grab the target and the fleet comes through. Or, you know, something comes, hops through into the fleet. You've got to be pretty quick to grab that target as it comes through the gate. So, although arguably a lot easier than finding targets in anomalies, it's just as important. It will get possibly even more kills, targets of opportunity, really. And then the final sort of type of tackling, I suppose, is in the middle of a fight. You know, you've got two fleets fighting each other. You know, both fleets might be quite happy to be there, but it's still important to be able to tackle ships, especially maybe the support ships like ECM, which uh, might be a bit further out. Obviously, there's problems tackling ECM boats, but, you know, it's just providing that extra long point in the middle of a fight. So, uh, those are sort of three different types of tackling you need to be able to do. Final thing, no one really uh, that's the part of the role of an interceptor is to help with fleet movement. For example, you've got, you know, if you want to get around a bubble, um, and you know the FC doesn't have any attacks, then the interceptor can get to attack off a gate. You know the fleet can walk to the interceptor, and that's. Um, Tam. Are we doing Tams today? Tams are critical, but uh, oh, do you mean? Are we okay. Them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. On good Tams, well, that's that's exactly what the next thing I was going to say. So, um, why doesn't somebody X up to tell me what is uh, Tam? Cado, I'll go for it. Uh, it's where, the, where you're getting into pilot to go and burn off in a direction so that people can't scan you down and drop themselves right on you at zero. Keep warping the fleet to them. Okay, that's um, that's a that's rolling safe, yeah. It is kind of a TAM, but it's uh, probably not what we mean generally when we say TAM. Marvin, do you want to have a go first? 
Uh, Tem is a spot on grid well enough away from the engagement that the fleet can walk to the bounce to another spot. Um. Yeah, again, that is a type of tactic. So, um, what is TAM? Do you know what it stands for? Tactical Assisted Mini Walk, I believe. Correct. Uh, and it's uh, when you put yourself on grid at a point which is 150 or more k's away from the rest of the fleet so they can get to a point on grid that they need to be. Exactly, I mean that covers the entire of what a TAM is basically, so yeah, um, you know, a roll and safe is a type of TAM where they just keep warping to you just to keep the fleet moving as fast as they possibly can to make it more difficult for probers to land a hostile, more powerful fleet on top of you. That's one type. Um, as Marvin mentioned, you've got the type where you want to bounce um, to get to, say, I don't know, say if you're 100 off a gate and you quickly wanted to get back to the gate, and if you have an NT at, say, 200 kilometers away, you can walk to the NT, walk back down to the gate. That's obviously useful. There is another use for a TAM. I guess I'm giving you a bit of a difficult time, but Justine Fitch, do you want to have a go at another use for them? If you don't know, don't worry. <laughs> Just I, so I don't know, I think <laughs> Divic discovered everything I was going to say. So. Well, Divic did cover everything, but um, this is more of a specific use for them, uh, is what I'm getting at. And what, what I'm getting at... Oh, go on then. Right, John. Station. Yeah, that is another use of them. Probably used less often, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely a possibility. Uh, Loki? Um, in fleet battles, if, you, if their fleet is burning away from you, you... The interceptor would be expected to keep up with them, giving your fleet a war point onto them. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of. It's um, basically, uh, yeah, that's one where the interceptor would be actually on them, and you just warp to the interceptor. Uh, there might be another situation where you've got, you know, one interceptor's got a target tackled, and the, you know, if you have any ones, then the spare ones can go beyond the target, and then the fleet can warp at range to the interceptor and land on it, or even to it directly and land ahead of it. So, you know, it's a way of catching targets that are faster. Or, you know, th there's loads of uses. So, basically, that's what a TAM is. It's it's probably the fleet movement element uh, of a skirmisher's role is probably the least critical, but it's certainly really, really useful in certain situations. Just to summarise, you've got the eyes, which, as I said, I consider the main role. You've got the tackling, uh, which lots of you gave me different examples of when you can do that and what you need to do to do that. And then you've got fleet movement to give the fleet different options about how they can move around the battlefield or even just moving around a system. That covers the role of the interceptor uh, or the skirmisher. 